Mr. Lee, we, yeah, we, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my bag? Daddy, I like Mr. when you oh, when you're scrambling here, and scraping for no, no, shit. No, 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 I got I no like shit. that. You know, I'll be practicing. I got yeah. no. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like Mr. when you oh, when you're scrambling and scraping when you when you're scrambling and scraping for shit. No, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a wish. Just blow it out. Your birthday every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink Champs. God damn it, I'm in. Where I. Look, look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. man. I miss but I'm talking about for you. your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Breaking news right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. And on the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful. Would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates, and as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody today we're, we're inside that home at the time of the raid we did bear cats body armors rifles diddy is done diddy is finished you got to think for one of his homes this is not his actual home that he lives in but for one of his homes which is currently registered with his daughter it sounds like it sounds like it's like diddy films homes you know a studio probably where they do movies and stuff like that maybe music videos that's what they've come in there with Holy moly. It makes me think what they know that maybe is not released to the public yet, that they want to do this type of raid with that type of artillery, that type of force on his property. By the way, I may have to block out the people being arrested, but two of the men that were arrested were Diddy's sons. To think that the things that you were involved with would have such a impact on your family represents the importance of being a father and making the correct decisions in life. Did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there and clearing that as well. So they're gonna do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the 54 year old who is believed to be the property owner of of this puffy 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 you stupid ass i told you stop fucking with r kelly i said grab them in the pussy don't kidnap the pussy they raided your shit i see i got a courtesy call when they raided my house you really fucked up up my n can i get a copy of the meek mill sex tape please nigga since the footage of that raid it's been rumored that diddy flew the coop to antigua of all places so this is actually a leaked footage of diddy's private jet called Love Air, <laughs> grounded in Antigua. His travel is now restricted to the Caribbean Isle. With other people such as 50 Cent posting on his page that he was on his way to Cape Verde, and Cape Verde has no extradition treaty with the U.S. Now, while possible, I saw these reports and I thought it was bullshit. If Diddy knew that the police were going to raid his home, why would he have his sons in the house? But 
shit, this is Diddy now that we're talking about. Maybe he would sacrifice his family there to hold them there longer for him to escape. But alas, Diddy was found pacing around Opalaka Airport in Miami several hours after the raids on his home. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know. You got on some blue Sean Jones sweats. The nerve of you. So this footage was actually taken outside of the customs desk. They stopped him before he was able to board his flight. These uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. You'll know it then. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. Begin to understand now why Mace became Pastor Mace. The car, the the shine, the loan, the Puff Daddy, Craig every, Mac. the Craig Mack, Biggie Smalls, the Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money, that's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. Mm. I didn't lose no money. It's destiny. <laughs> that boy good. That boy good. <laughs> that boy good. That boy good. That boy good. That boy good. And that's why he makes the big bucks. That's why he makes the big bucks. That, that was crazy. Yeah, I couldn't have planned that. You asked me, see, that's why Destiny, you asked me the right question, and we had the right place. This is how it's meant to go, man. That's what I do, baby. <laughs> thank you, like Killer. Yeah, likewise, thank man. you, Killer. Man, thank you on man. national TV. Yeah. Thank you, Killer. And thank you too, Murder. I appreciate it, bro. I think it's powerful to hear Mace articulate it like that because oftentimes on this channel we go over the short-term gratification or selling yourself for the money to be utilized as a pawn for the destructive nature of whatever capitalistic good that is being sold onto others without the correct information or the discipline within their family to obstruct from this debauchery that is marketed to us. And to have him sit back and just articulate after all of these years that because of his decisions, he's better now with himself within his soul than he would have been if he kept on going down that path. Chef's kiss. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Getting hit with a freako in 2024 is crazy. Nine times out of 10, I don't wish jail on nobody. I swear freak to God, I really don't. I don't have nothing against Diddy, his kids, nothing. I just got to say it though. A freako is wow. You like, I never seen a freako indictment. For the feds to pull up and say, yo, you are too freaky for society. Come with me is unbelievably outrageous. Ninja ran off and left the kids in the whole shit. <laughs> yo, he's doing the racist sad effort. Yo, 50 is a savage. A freak. And the fact that you wasn't even at the crib, that let me know what it is. Like, you knew they was coming. <laughs> Being too freaky for society is wild. Like, it's I know wild. R. Kelly is like, see, see, and y'all. Now, as you guys would expect, Twitter, the internet is going crazy and bringing up even more clips that you probably have never seen before. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose. But um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Look at, um, look at Justin. You know, I, I, I have been... Deer in headlights. Mind you, Diddy is 40 years old in this, and Justin is 15. 
given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. We're going to get into that in a quick second. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Going crazy. Going buck full crazy is a wild in this new context. To me, this looks like a smile of grooming. And if I was to make a prediction, I think Justin Bieber in the next several weeks to month is going to come out with his own Diddy story, unfortunately. And it kind of puts his career into context. Why being exposed to people like this had him abruptly end his career to focus on his mental health. Yeah, so as soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come to LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm gonna put the front shot in this. Man. Let that out. Minute. Woo! Okay. Okay. All right, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, thing. you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. You can just see the youth within Justin. He doesn't yet understand that gifts don't come free. They're really truly not gifts when you're caught up in this type of a lifestyle. This is a loan to be paid back with interest. No. Right. no 16. No, no, no. no, slow, right. down. slow down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's slow down, okay? One, one step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. You're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay. Oh, yeah. God. So, where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? 50 Cent tried to tell y'all not to accept gifts from Diddy. The nigga Puff was like, yeah, like, first he was amping him to, to right. get... Style. Then he was like, yo, he was like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out, nigga, we gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he was like, yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I paid for it, and I was like, what the fuck this nigga just said? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him, because I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck it. Wait, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> This is shit that goes on. But this is a little fruit. Yeah. My pop is a fruit pile. <laughs> it's a fruit pile, Damn, trust me. I see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there. I'm just sitting out there for no reason. Yo, you don't see accident pictures with me like kissing it. Chill, Like that doesn't happen by accident. Chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. Look, look. Later you're going to find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Oh, man. <laughs> For context, the men on the other side of the table are signed to Revolt Network, which produces this podcast, which is owned in part by Diddy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dude. Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you the truth, but Yo. the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit, but right. I'm trying to tell you, nah. nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? I want to take you shopping. <laughs> Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I'm going to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. Talk about a chick. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me he want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this nigga? <laughs> okay, hold on. Where was this at? This was at the wedding. This was at the wedding. Oh, nah, right after the wedding. I'm beefing with Steve Stout. And Puff is telling you he's going to take you shopping. After the shoes. Everybody gonna want to be at Chris Lady wedding right now. Everybody gonna be like, yo, I was there. Well, and I'm bugging because look, while they were sitting there at the wedding, like I'm like this, look, because you know they both they hit, right? Both Stout and Puff. Okay, yes, they hit. They fucked the Veronica, the girl that Chris was married. Whoa, this oh. is awkward. We did not know that. So I'm sure, sitting there like, what the shit we got going on? Oh man, like, goddamn! Like I'm on my own. Little Yes. <laughs> Shit goes so deep. It's funny to laugh at this, but 50 Cent was a grown ass man that can make grown ass man decisions. Watching that in the context of Justin is wild. But remember, Diddy talked about having legal guardianship over Usher? Moved to New York City. 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, I, and, what you, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> the red flags really didn't go up for me in this Diddy case until I saw how quickly that he settled over the case with Cassie after she went public. I would imagine that a man of his wealth, if you were innocent, that you would fight allegations like that until your end, until your demise. And slowly as the stories began to come out, the videos began to resurface in the context of Jeffrey Epstein, in the context of like these Hollywood executives with a Nickelodeon that have pedophilia allegations established with them. The court documents of the man who's suing Diddy, alleging that Diddy is a gangster that has killed people in front of him. There's just so many things coming from so many different angles, which doesn't look good for him. I'm still in a mindset of innocent until proven guilty, but I think that it's over for your boy Diddy. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over to Torres and Reviews at gmail.com. Guys, Leave your comments down below. Let's have a conversation about this. I want to see you guys tap in. MT Army, mount up. Give me your perspectives. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.